Welcome back to another episode of Big Movie Mouth Off. We're here in Brewies in the Pub reviewing more films for you. I'm Jimmy Martin with KUTV, and I have another special guest. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Introduce yourself to the people. My name is Brooks Bird, and I write for blogcritics.org. Perfect. Well, you can find Big Movie Mouth Off on Xfinity Channel 6, also on the On Demand system. It's Utah On Demand, uh, Salt Lake Alternative, Big Movie Mouth Off. Tons of reviews sitting there for you with multiple guest hosts. It's fine. Fantastic. It's got older ones that might be on Video On Demand or Netflix or go buy it on Blu-ray. Or newer ones like this one. It's the latest in the family-friendly animated genre, How to Train Your Dragon 2. Come on, bud. There's a whole other world of dragons out there. Unbelievable. What do you say? What should we name it? Oh. Itchy armpit it is. I bet you think you know a lot about dragons. Should I know you? No, but a mother never forgets. Every dragon has its secrets. I'll show them all to you. Director Dean Le Du Bois, that's quite the name, uh, he returns to the franchise. Uh, he also did Lilo and Stitch back in the day for Disney. Um, bringing it back, you know, I, I know they have the TV show, like, Riders of Burke. Yeah. And I've heard from some people that there's some little bits here and there that they've kind of crammed into part two. Don't worry about it. I don't watch it, and I was fine. So Someone it, told me today that it, there was, like, an episode where all the dragons disappear and come back. And oh, that's where they went? So, I don't know. Who knows? So, I don't watch it. <laughs> So, Netflix. the story is is that uh, Hiccup, our, our main leading man, uh, voiced by Jay Bruchel, uh he and his fantastic pet dragon, uh, Toothless, are, they, you know, Burke has now accepted dragons, we're not in fear of them anymore, so they, you know, like to fly around the region and discover new new islands, new lands, and hopefully new people, and maybe He's other... riding a map. Yeah, right? And so, basically, uh, he comes across bad guys, comes across uh, by an army of guys who are... They're basically the henchmen of a guy named Drago, who is forming a dragon army. And he also comes across a dragon rider who is trying to save all the dragons uh, and has like a mysterious island that no one really knows where they are. <laughs> uh, well, we can say, you want to say who the dragon rider is? Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. Go ahead and tell him. It's his mom. Oh, Isn't that cute? It's Hiccup's mom. <laughs> now Gerard Butler, who plays his dad, has somebody to talk to, which is Kate Blanchett. <laughs> so, um, so let's see it. Let's jump into this one. Um, the one thing I always liked about How to Train Your Dragon was it's the the aerial sequences. Oh, yeah. You know, this is a franchise. Like, I don't like 3D. I think it's this horribly like overused. Custom made for 3D. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and IMAX. There, the, before this one, and, I'll, and I recommend this one too for 3D, there was only like three films I recommended 3D for, and one was How to Train Your Dragon, and another one was Jackass 3D. <laughs> I know they're very polar opposite from each other, but that's just Opposites what I did. of the spectrum. <laughs> yeah. So, um, no, but I mean, I, I, I like it, and, and the animation's still gorgeous. But I found myself, and I, I kind of wish we'd seen like an IMAX screen or something. Yeah. Because it would have felt. to the end. Yeah, it would have felt so. You know, like, I felt like I was riding on a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Gross. Yeah, exactly. Um, but no, like, I, I found it, you know, I, I liked it, and, and I do appreciate a film, and I think you do too. And you can let me know what you think. <laughs> Whether well, uh, I really do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I do appreciate kids' films that aren't just full of fart jokes. There wasn't one. Not one. What? No pee either. Not one. Not or puke. I don't think there Saliva. was. But no puke. Saliva. You can, you can, a dragon can lick your face. That's well, the okay. the dragons are basically dogs. Yeah, they're just puppies. That's all they are. They lay on your chest and lick your face. Just like in real life. <laughs> don't, Every night. Don't go touch dragons, kids. If you ever <laughs> see one, run. Um, no, I, and I, I, I do this, you know, I don't have kids. And you don't. Neither do I. And, and I wonder if you do the same thing that I do, is when I watch these films, I kind of keep my eye on the parents and the kids to yeah. see how they're enjoying it. Because kids will... Kids will laugh at anything. Well, not always. Like, I've never seen like Smurfs too, and I was like, not even kids are laughing at this thing. <laughs> but then you see like kids who like lose their minds at like Garfield or or Alvin and the Chipmunks, and that's okay. Kids can enjoy it. But then I look at the parents, and they're like, Ugh. God, why did they have these these rugrats? Why didn't we drop them off and go see Twenty Two Jump Street? Yeah, just or just leave them in the car. <laughs> Crack the window, it's funny, but you know, <laughs> don't do that. Um, go to the bar next door. <laughs> right. So, um, but no, like I, this one, I the kids were loving it. The adults were loving it. 
we and I was loving, loving it. it. Yeah, even the critics were loving it. And it's like, it's one of those things. Not only do they not do fart jokes and whatnot, but there's some like deep stuff in this film. And I'm not ruining yeah. that. We're not. We told you there was his mom, but we're not. Something ruining, happens. We're not going to ruin anything else. <laughs> but there's some like, you know, I don't want to say like to the to the emotional degree of like Pixar. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, well, I've you always, might cry a little. I've always thought that the only movies that really came to close to Pixar quality with them is How to Dream Your Dragon and the Kung Fu Pandas. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's they're as close as they're going to get. That's when DreamWorks is showing their true colors. I mean, I mean they're like, not doing Shrek. Yeah, when they're not doing Shrek 3 or any of that stuff. Um, no, but, and, and I love that they can do that because, you know, we've talked about this on this show before. I love that people can get Pixar run for their money. I, I love it, you know, because... It's about time someone can. Well, exactly. You know, and, and, and Disney Animated Studios is doing it. Yeah. And DreamWorks is now doing it. And so all it's going to do is make fluff. better films for us. Yes. That's, you know, that's what I'm excited about. So, you know, you see, you see films like this that everyone can enjoy. And, and it, like I said, the animation is gorgeous. Um, the kids... Can get a little irritating. That's my that was my only like you know his friends like Jonah oh, Hill's character yeah. and like all them. And I, I still just think like, the okay. Kristen Wiig character was hilarious. She's good. And when is Kristen Wiig not good? <laughs> exactly. So you even know, animated. It, I mean that's nitpicking. That's yeah. nitpicking in this thing. I mean, and they're I, only in a handful of scenes. Yeah, really. That's true too. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things. I, I wonder if I liked it more than the original. And the reason I say that is because when I went to the original, you know, we were in this th uh, series of we just had Shrek three, yeah. and I was like, okay, sure, whatever. How to Dragon, sure, what you got? Whatever. And then I was like, oh wow, that was really they good. Finally did it. So now, like, you kind of go in there with expectations, like, do it again, do it again, like exactly. that. And I think they do. I, you know, I think it's up was, to par with the first one. I don't know. I was it's trying better. to decide whether I thought it was better. Yeah. And even to say it was just as good. Yeah. Is, oh. is a feat of itself. Even, even, yeah, it's great. It's on par with the original, and and, and I think you're absolutely right. That is that is a feat amongst itself because you know most times sequels are like, <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's like well, okay. it, was, it was the same. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's not the same either. No, I mean, it's a totally original story. It's you know, bigger, it's, it's, it's not like we just said it is bigger, but it's not too big. No, yeah. I mean, okay. Well, yeah. There are some. <laughs> there are two dragons in this thing. We're not really much, but they're like the alpha males. Well, they're in all the stuff. We'll just the big uh, wilder beasts. I've seen toys of them too. Yeah. yeah. So they're everywhere. They're huge. but like, they're, I mean, they're they're like Godzilla big. Yeah. And so when you kind of scary. Yeah. So when you get that kind of going on, I was like, I mean, my eyes were glued. I'm like, yeah. Oh yeah. Like, I got a. That's <laughs> another reason why it should have been on an IMAX screen. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Even so, XD. Anyway. Um, I think. I'm at three and a half on this one. I really, really enjoyed it. You know, I, like I said, nitpicking here and there, but it didn't ruin it by any to means. Go with some other people's scores. What did you call it? The star search rating? Oh, the stars. Do you want, you want to do a star search rating? I guess maybe three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. Oh, so you're like really close. Well, on the website, I actually gave it five because it was. That's too many stars. Exactly. We don't do that here. <laughs> Not on the show. I follow their rules. It's three and three quarters. That's that's still good. I'll go with that. Yeah. Three and three quarters stars. Three and a half stars. Yeah, it, it's it's an accomplishment, you know. I think they're still, I think they're they're elevating the animated game, and especially and, that the director came back and did it by himself. Yeah, you know, good old Du Bois. Well, the other guy was off making the crudes. Butchering that name, I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bud. Hold on. That'll do it for this episode of Big Movie Mouth Off. Uh, we'll be re reviewing films all summer long here at Bruby Cinema Pub, our home. My cot's in the back. I'm not going anywhere. So uh, there you go. We'll see you guys next time.